Hi, my name is Stephen Ryder. I'm the uh, Managing Director of CPO Media. One of the uh, projects that we're currently running uh, in conjunction with our partners, Channel 7, uh, is the Media Mashup Programme. Uh, media Mashup uh, is, again, it's a media project run through Inspiring Communities funding, uh, which allows Whitgift school pupils to come out of school uh, and to learn skills uh, and learn things about themselves and their communities uh, that they wouldn't otherwise been able to do. Uh, there's two aspects to the project. One's based here at uh, our offices in Telegraph House and the other's uh, based out at Image Studios with Channel 7. Uh, obviously the uh, crew who go out to Channel 7 uh, looking uh, more around uh, broadcast and film, uh, whereas our projects mainly based around print, but we're also developing a website with them. I think it's another string to their bow really, a media mashup. Um, these are young people at a school in one of the communities that we traditionally uh, supported. Um, they probably do do some media, perhaps within English lessons at school, uh, but I think the advantages of coming out into uh, offices, I think it gives them an insight into workplace, um, it gives them an insight into the media and how the media runs. Um, I think it's quite fascinating. I think I'd have enjoyed it as a, as a youngster being able to go out and, and seeing you know, where a magazine starts or where a newspaper article starts. And I think they've enjoyed the hard work that goes in. The aspect of uh, esprit de corps, if you like, the sort of teamwork that's developed uh, has been very useful. I think what they'll end up doing is producing two, two projects, one film-based and one print-based, that they'll be very proud of, and I think the school will be as well. Hi, my name's Jake Hershaw, I'm from Grimsby Whitgift School. I've been working on like a project to do with uh, publishing in the media and like um, how people write and like all kinds of things, how, what you can write, how to produce an article and things like that. I think I could use it on my CV and like get noticed and I've got experience and I could kickstart my career in media. Yeah. Me and Carmen did a joint article on poetry. We've learned what programmes they use to write and publish articles and where it happens and how you write them. I've learned that making a magazine isn't actually that easy. <laughs> and like, there's a lot of effort go that goes into it, but people don't really seem to think about that. I think I'll use it too because I'm interested in journalism for a job and, it, and it's kind of, um, you know, I, I know what it's like now so, I, you know, I'm not assuming what the job's going to be like if I do take up journalism as a career. So it, it's, you know, interesting to know that because I've got a lot of options because of the whole inspiring communities thing. So it kind of gives me an idea of what I really want to do when I'm older. I'm Damon Wallow and I go to Whitgift School. We're doing something called Media Mashup and it's like we come every Wednesday and we do different things like TV presenting, weather forecasting, we're, work, we're learning how to work cameras. Oh, it's been dead fun. Helen and Rianne they came in and did a presentation and we had a choice to do TV or magazines and I really wanted to do TV so I went for TV. I've learned to communicate with like, other people and like team building and enterprising skills, all the skills that I need for television. It's inspired me to do acting and camera work more when I'm older. It's good money and um, I like doing it as a job. The most memorable moment is most probably when we was doing a little film at Whitgift and Mr Sykes locked the door and popped up at Ebony. Seems to have locked it. <laughs>